housekeepers at home. Praise the Lord. How uh, uh, to love their husband. How to love their children. How many people today love their children? Think about that. Good Christians and good mothers love their children. Praise the Lord. If you are just a woman, people say, my little devils and my little brats, they're only what you make them. You remember that. You've got to be a brat bigger than they are and a devil bigger than they are before you can teach them to be a devil. Hallelujah. Come on now. That's your responsibility. Raise a child in the way you'd have him to go. Proverbs said this. And when he becomes old, he will not depart from it. I believe that. Yep. I believe that God will bring them back. Hallelujah. Oh, but the of all, I've seen them whenever they were so mean. I've seen a lot of meanings too, and I've seen a lot of them die mean. But I've seen a lot of them that was mean. Ninety-nine percent of the ministers that are behind the pulpit took a course in demon powers before they come to the Lord. Hallelujah. Was demon demons continually? They know that they had. Hallelujah. They had a life for God in from, and they shamed them in every way they could and tried to tear their morals down. And then, hallelujah, I want you to know that uh, that my morals were so high when I come to the Lord, I could sit down on a cigarette paper and put my, hang my feet off and touch the floor. Praise the Lord. That's how high they was. Uh, let me tell you something. But when the Holy Ghost of God came in, I want you to know that he began to jack up the floor. Hallelujah. Put the power in the anointing of God in our life. We must learn how to be Christians. Yes. Many people go all their life never learn how to be Christians. They live on skid row because they won't listen. I'm not accepting. Listen to me. I won't tell y'all something. Hallelujah. If you are not willing to sacrifice, to have a church, and to serve the Lord, see what God can do. I won't tell you something. You're a member of the wrong crowd. Hallelujah. But I'm not willing, Brother Walt. I pay my tithe. Ain't nobody going to tell me I've got to pay my tithe. You don't have to pay tithe. You can go to hell. Hallelujah. That's where you're going. Because the Bible said, no thieves or robbers. If you come in by the gate, you're going to come in through the, you're going to come in through the real thing. You're going to believe the Word, and the Word is going to lead you through this thing. I don't care whether you like me or not. Hallelujah. I don't care one bit whether you like what I'm saying or not, because I want you, all I want you to do is line up with it. Hallelujah. You've played long enough. It's time the reality set in. Hallelujah. You think that Brother Mitchell and I come up here and sit all the week, hallelujah, on our two spot, and we sit there and do nothing to get the message to bring to you? No, we work. Hours and hours and hours and hours to try to find out what God wants for the congregation. Then you ignore it? I don't have to answer for you ignoring it. I just have to answer for getting it to you. I'm the, I am the milk carrier. But Mickey carries mail every once in a while, just when they catch him. <laughs> How they do it? They make him walk. But if he carries that mail, what if he went out with that mail? <laughs> and here come a woman to the door, and she has this big old box or a big old. Uh, uh, German Shepherd or whatever on a lease and said he sends her a piece of mail 
She said, if that's done, I'm going to turn that dog loose on <laughs> You think Mickey's going to stand there and hand her that mail? He's going to take that mail and run like a devil. Hallelujah. You know why? Because he, all he is is a mail carrier. He don't care whether you get that mail or not because he ain't responsible for one thing. Hallelujah. He'll take it back to the post office and send it back to whoever sent it, but you will pay the consequences because you didn't open the mail. They'll come cut your lights off. They'll cut your water off. Hallelujah. They'll cut your phone bill off. They'll stop you. Hallelujah. They'll, they'll take your credit card. Hallelujah. And uh, I'll call you and, and say, I'm going to tap your bank account for a credit card. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. I know, they, I know you're going to go shout like you did this morning. This is not a shouting message. But you'll shout one day because you'll look at Brother Walt and say, Brother Walt, you told me the truth. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. You're coming up some other way? In a Jewish wedding, and I'm not going to preach long tonight, but in a Jewish wedding, when they come into the house, they were all handed a garment. Everybody that sat in that Jew, in that Jewish wedding all had a garment on. They had to come through the door to get it. Here come in the judge. And there was a man sitting at the table and he didn't have on one. Why? Because he didn't come through the door. He went some other way around. He joined the church. He put his name on some man-made church book. Hallelujah. Somebody asked me the other day, he said, Brother Wall said, you, you, you remember when they had the Stone Age. You remember when they used to take a chisel and chisel on. Hallelujah. As you told as you're getting I remember when the chisel was invented. Hallelujah! I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know how to how to spell Hallelujah in those days. So all I had to done was put. I had to done. Had to do. I mean, I talk now. But all I had to do was put my X on there. Lots of the old people, the way they signed their check. That's all they could do. And he took it to the bank. One man that I know, he signed his check. This man had gone off the rocker because he had become uh, all uh, they call what they call religious crazy, but he just let the devil come in and rob him of his mind, and he went to the bank signed the check Jesus Christ and handed it to the church. He said, we can't, we can't uh, check, we can't uh, cash this check. And he went back to the man that owned the bank, uh, the banker, the head banker. He said, yeah, that, I know the man, and she's good, she's taking it. She's got the money, just told her who it was, put his name on it. It's snowing outside in here. It's snowing. Hallelujah. <laughs> All of you, before you have a nervous breakdown, I'll look at you. Get on the iron. We had, back when I was working for Oliver, we were talking about how to sign this check. We had a guy come in on one Sunday afternoon. There were three of us working. I was working the counter and there were two working the floor. And this guy came in and wanted to know where our two of them so he told him. He picked up two wrenches and, and uh, the guy behind him told him, what well, you pay for them, it's wrenches. And he said, no, he said, charge these to Jesus Christ. Ooh, and he walked out the front door. <laughs> well, they caught him about two blocks down the street. He paid for the two of them, didn't get a visit. But that's it. See? 
people become ignorant. To name, and I'm going to tell you all something. Now, y'all listen to me. You're going to like this, but I'm going to tell you what. The name of Jesus don't have any thieves and liars in it. That's right. right. If, you use, if you misuse the name of Jesus, you misuse it. You misuse the name of Jesus. You're going to give account before God. Why? Hallelujah. We need to honor the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, go home. Go home and, and read your, the Word of God. Sit down and read the Word of God. See, am I a Christian? Do you ever ask yourself that? I do all the time. Am I the kind of Christian, God, that you want me to be? Am I the kind of a preacher that you want me to be? Hallelujah. Do you know what? If I wanted a good air conditioner man, I'd call him Brother Lee, even though he's retarded. I need to know something about himself. Hallelujah. Plumber, he knows about all that. If I wanted somebody to show me some, some boards up, some logs up, I'd call Junior. Even though Junior's not able to do that right now. Hallelujah. If I wanted somebody to boss, I'd call most any of you ladies. <laughs> that didn't cost y'all nothing. <laughs> 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 Junior said I could call Brittany C. No Listen, hallelujah. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. Because it's bad outside. It's bad. It's no. You are. Hallelujah. Sunday is Easter. Thank you.